Caltrain, one of the Bay Area's most prominent commuter rail lines, is undergoing a modernization project, slated to complete in fall of 2024. This project, which began over six years ago, promises a full rehaul of Caltrain's primary fleet, including the electrification of the majority of their currently diesel-powered trains. Dan Lieberman, public information officer for Caltrain, says that the line switch to an electric service is necessary for the environmental standards of the present day. Diesel power puts out pollution. Uh, you know, electric power allows, you know, it's uh, particularly when we're pulling primarily from green sources, as we currently are and hope to continue, um, is, you know, just, you know, takes a, a great deal of, uh, of carbon out of the atmosphere. Um, tra uh, transportation is the number one cause of greenhouse gases in the state of California. So moving to more sustainable means such as electrified rail transit is absolutely huge, it is critical. There is no way to address this problem without it. Caltrain's modernization project has garnered generally positive feedback from current riders and transit experts. Ian Griffiths is the policy director of Seamless Bay Area, an organization promoting transit policy reform. The increasing of service is a, is a really important part of making transit more competitive compared to driving for north-south travel. In addition to electrification, the over $2 billion project promises to improve riders' onboard experience through the inclusion of features like onboard Wi-Fi, improved seats, and a redesigned bike car. This allows us to have short, uh, shorter headways, uh, you know, that's time spent idling at stations, lets you get where you're going, keep trains moving, and furthermore lets you move more trains per hour because you just you have less of that dwell time that slows things up. Although in support of the project, Griffith says that further governance is needed, in addition to the capital improvements, to ensure the greatest impact to Bay Area transportation. It's the policies, the how you set fares up, how you promote the service, how you coordinate the schedules. You need to get the policies right if you really want to you know, have this big investment of, of modernization and electrification result in the greatest impact on you know, bringing more people to riders. Still, Lieberman believes that the rehauled service, in addition to the potential completion of California's high-speed rail project, could greatly change the landscape of public transit in the region. Once we have a population of people coming up from Southern California, possibly on a very regular basis, it's we're going to see a very changed system. And I don't think people are going to want to hop on a train from L.A., get up here, and then be like, cool, let's rent a car as fast as possible. Like, they're going to want to keep moving that way because that's what they're used to. While the service is expected to open later next year, Caltrain is reportedly offering tours to the public of their redesigned train sets in the coming months. For In Focus, I'm Anish Tiwari, co-reporting with Sarp Kandirli and Anirudh Barthawatch.